Thank you very much, Ginny Sipley. The Prime Minister talking there about the possible land transport reforms. 20th of February is the final day for public submissions. Do you want to have your say? Be in before then. Well now for something completely different altogether. This is Shakespeare, done ugly. There was a duke, a proud man with a proud heart. He ruled the kingdom with a firm but fair disposition. Everybody liked him. <laughs> yeah. uh, the fair but firm duke had a brother. While he was firm and fair, his brother was a rotten bastard. Yeah. The, the duke whose wife was killed in a tragic accident successfully raised his son, who was kind, fair and by all accounts very firm. Even though he was of royal blood, the duke's son loved to parlourmaid. Her name shall be Portia. She had two sisters. Their names can be Citrin and Reno. Both of whom hated Portia, who was the love interest of the duke's son. We shall call the duke's son Humphrey. Humphrey? Yeah, Humphrey. Well, where are um, the premises where a bunch of criminally insane people whose hospital is closed down? You don't look like it. No, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how's that? Um, and and um, as part of our rehabilitation into society, we're um, travelling around uh, doing Shakespeare. Hi. Hi. Not a good day? No, you know, busy. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Have you heard what's going on at the Denmark house? The Denmark house? Yes, over at number seven. No. Ooh, she's married her brother-in-law. No. She has, you know. And he's only been dead not a month. Shocking. Basically, we send up Shakespeare. Uh, we uh, we do a a translation of Shakespearean text in a sort of satirical way. Um, we also sh uh, send up Othello, we do it as an opera, uh, Othello, without any accompaniment whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I do the overture. Yeah, that's the overture. <laughs> what is it with the ambulance? Well, because we are um, supposed to be criminally insane mental patients, uh, an ambulance was the most appropriate vehicle to travel in, and also the ugly Shakespeare company has spent the last two years travelling around in an um, a Chevrolet Caprice, a 1981 Chevrolet Caprice ex LAPD police car. Oh, so we're awesome. going through the whole emergency <laughs> service vehicle sort of thing. We want a fire engine next, a big fire, red fire truck, and that'll be fun. People pull over sometimes, it's really good in heavy traffic. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when Ben's going whoop whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking! Shocking! Well, that's not all. No! No! no. Apparently, maybe, you know, maybe from the other day. Yeah. Well, she was talking to Harriet, who spoke to Pat, with the Lee Sucker Luncheon last week. Yes. Over at Doreen. You know Doreen. Oh, Doreen, yeah. And it's doing his dad's friend in the heiress. Disgusting! And he'd be with his daughter as well. You know, the little one. A99 yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah. I don't tell him how one feel of it. There we are, the Ugly Shakespeare Company, performing in a town near you. They're around the province at the moment. And hey, that idea works pretty well. Uh, people in prisons putting on plays. There's some powerful ones done recently. Coming up shortly, the Kumagaya City Councillors get very excited at the Tuatarium and Michael Anderson leaving Vibrant City so soon.